Hey everybody, I am on here today to do a favorites video, which doesn't happen very often, as we all know. In order for something to be a favorite of mine, it's got to be an item that I'm definitely going to repurchase over and over, <laughs> or it's an item that I'm going to have for a very long time. That's a little hint of things to come. So, that being said, um, I also want to talk a little bit about the whole gifted, hashtag gifted thing that I don't really understand because I didn't really check into it enough to um, find out if Canadians have to do that or not. I don't know if it's just a British thing or an American thing or what it is, but I got way excited about doing a favorites video so much that I thought, well, I'll just check into it later. But in order to protect myself, possibly, I will let you know if the items were sent to me for testing, they were gifted, or what the heck is going on. So let's start off with the first item. It is a drink, and I love this. I was watching Toddy Westbrook's video a way, way back, and she was drinking something that I was like, okay, well, she says it's good, it's gotta be really good. So I ran out and I spent way too much money <laughs> on a 12-pack uh, of this stuff, and I am in love with this. This is the Aziva, Aziva, did I say that? Ziva Zero Calorie Soda, and there we go. And this one is in Black Cherry, and I have bought this over and over. People come to my place, and they head straight for the fridge now in order to get a can of this. I also have it in Lemonade, and I haven't tried it in anything else because I'm not really into just straight old straight up tonic water. But it's kind of what it is. It's black cherry with stevia and uh, tonic water. And it's freaking amazing. It tastes so, so good. Non-GMO, by the way. And I love this stuff. It's just really, really tasty. It has, <clears throat> excuse me, it has more of a taste than other flavored waters that I've tried. <coughs> no editing. I coughed. Oh yeah. And uh, it's really amazing, and I love the lemonade, and I love the black cherry so far that I've tried. Staying on the drinks thing, I really, oh god, excuse me, really love my drink carriers that I have. I have decided that I wanted to try the Yeti for my coffee, and this Yeti is in, it's in pink. They do offer it every now and then, however, I believe it was, the one that I got was a limited edition, but... I think that it's come out since then. Uh, occasionally, they've come out with, like, come get your pink ones now, and then they take them off the market. And then they put them back on the market. And you know how it is. That's how they get you. So <laughs> this one has, uh, this is the Yeti Rambler, and it is all stainless steel inside. It's really, really hard. It keeps my drinks hot. My coffee always stays hot, and my cold drinks stay cold but I only use it for my coffee. What I love about this is how easy it is to clean as well. So this has like a rubber suction thing so that it, you know, and, it's, and it stays, that lid stays on. You don't have to worry. It's harder to get it off than it is to get it on, okay? So it also has this. This is the coolest part. This is the magnet that you get with it, and it will literally pop off. That's the magnetized part, and it's just easy to clean. I mean, you don't have to worry about all these extra little, like, sucking parts, suction parts. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Anyway, <laughs> it doesn't have a lot of parts, and I'm panicking now because I'm going too fast. And you just snap that on like that, and then you push it out through here, which is where you drink out of, to clean it. And that's all you got to do. And then just snap it back on, and it just jumps into place, just like that. I love my Yeti so much that I got two. I did, I know. Why would you need two, right? I don't know. I bought this one first, to be quite honest, because they didn't have uh, any other colors. I wanted the mint green one, and they didn't have mint green. All they had was white, and I really wanted a Yeti, so I bought the white, thinking it's going to be extremely hard to clean, and it's probably going to get dirty and stained, and it never has. I have had this Yeti for six months now, and it's never been stained. I mean, it gets pretty flippin' dirty with me traveling places, but I'm telling you right now, beautiful, washes clean, no problem whatsoever. <clears throat> Excuse me. Staying with my drinks theme, what do I use for my cold drinks? Well, 
I watched Christine Kobzeff, I think her name is. Some of you will remember her as Pink So Foxy. And she had, she uses something that I just thought, you know what, everyone is talking about this now, so I'm gonna go and get one. And I couldn't find it anywhere, this hydro flask. This is my hot pink hydro flask. I freaking love this. I couldn't find it anywhere because I live in a small town that doesn't sell, doesn't have any stores that are licensed to sell hydro flask. And so I ended up in Minneapolis and I still couldn't find it. There is not a store at the Mall of America that sells hydro flask. Can you believe that? How many stores are at the Mall of America? I mean, I'm sure I didn't hit a quarter of them and there's nothing there. And then I was in Winnipeg and I couldn't find it. There was a couple of stores in Winnipeg, but I, they were really far out of the way. So I went on well.ca for Canadians and I got myself the great big hydro flask and it stays on. The lid stays on very, very well. It's also got a stainless steel interior. I use a bottle brush to clean inside. I've used it quite a few times. I don't have any sort of weird smells in there. It's a fantastic, uh, container to keep your water or other drinks cold. They will stay cold all day long. And I've tested this with coffee and my coffee stayed hot for eight hours. I know, why would you need to keep your coffee for eight hours, right? It was just a testing thing just to let you know. It will stay hot if you want to put hot chocolate in or something. Moving on to food. I have discovered that I'm starting to get a double chin because I'm putting on a lot of weight, you know? And why? Why would I be putting on all that weight? Possibly lack of exercise, possibly the M&M's caramel. I can't stay away from these things and I was feeling kind of down last night so my really good friend Jessica, she brought me a bag of M&M caramels and I'm fairly certain I ate half of them last night without realizing it because I'm just disgusting lately like that. So <laughs> these are incredible. I'll show you the back if you're wondering like what are they like. This is what they look like inside. So you got your hard shell, your surrounding of chocolate, and then your caramel soft interior. And I'm going to tell you, it's not just a little wee film of chocolate around these caramels. There's a lot of chocolate in there. They are pretty big, actually. So here's... Oh, hang on. It's a pretty small one, actually. Okay, this is how big your M&M is. This is how big it actually is. And I'm going to bite it in half for you. Oh, God. Now I'm probably going to eat the whole damn bag. Mm, mm. <laughs> okay, take a look at that. There's a lot of chocolate around the caramel. Yeah, you're getting a lot. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. <laughs> I'm probably going to drool now. Mm. God help us all. Okay, two more products to get through. And hopefully you don't slurp if I drool. Here we go. One is a hair product. I went to the Caribbean, as you know. God, it's gonna take a while. Mm, I'm stuck in my teeth. And um, I had just got my hair done, blonde highlights, and the next day I went to the I went to on a cruise. And oh my gosh, my hair got a little bit brassed out. I think by you know just having it done and then stepping out into the hot hot sun, and um, got a little brass going on. So. Um, Top Box had asked me to review this product and um, got my lipstick's kind of going squirrel moment sorry anyway Top Box asked me to review this product I said yeah for sure they sent this to me and what the hell is all over it okay so anyhow I got the shampoo and the conditioner and I also got the neutralizing mask this is the neutralizing mask I wasn't too thrilled with the shampoo and conditioner only because the shampoo made my hair feel like straw. The conditioner was knock it out of the park amazing, but I didn't like the fact that they wanted me to use gloves because it's really, really dark blue and you get it all over the place, right? So I didn't like that. I didn't use gloves. And as a result, the eczema on my hand got really bad. Not so swift, I get it. But this, what the heck? This brought the life back into my color. I am telling you, this is the Matrix Total Results Brass Off Color Obsessed Custom Neutralization Mask. I left this on for seven minutes on my hair and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, rinsed my hair off and then got out of the shower, checked it after I dried it, and I could tell. It was 
less um, yellowish and more towards a caramel, almost ash, which is what I wanted. I wanted like this color and it brought my hair back. It brought the color back. I used it three times. I used it on a Monday, a Wednesday and a Friday and boom, yellow brassiness was gone out of my hair. Really, really recommend this product. It is incredible. Yes, you have to wear gloves with it, it says, and it is dark blue. It's like a bluing shampoo that turns whites white, right? And uh, it's incredible. It doesn't smell the greatest or anything, but it works really well, so I do recommend that. And I truly, I don't like a lot of Matrix products, but maybe they're starting to change it up. I don't know. Last on my list is a product that costs a lot of money. I know that. And I'm not saying run out and get it. I'm saying just maybe look into it. I don't know. But I have sensitive skin, as you know. I can't wear a lot of body creams um, because they make me itch. They flare up my eczema and my other skin conditions. It's really weird. But this product worked so well for me when I was in a lot of trouble. I was on an antibiotic and did not know I was allergic to penicillin. Surprise! And all of a sudden I had this rash on my legs and my ankles all the way up to my chest and I thought I was gonna die. Anyway, dealt with it through the doctor and then I used this for some reason, I don't know why I did because normally I would have gone straight to a CeraVe because it has no scent in it or anything, but I reached for this and it worked. This is the Kiehl's Creme de Corps, <laughs> Creme de Corps, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Soy milk and honey whipped body butter with shea and hoba butters. And if I could not blind you, I would. But this is what it looks like. It comes in a very large tub. It's like 40 some dollars. I think it was 45 bucks. And I, I fluffed it up in the tub so you could see. It's just like a mousse. It's really, really cool. It's not really heavy. There goes my phone. I'm going to tell you right now that I paid a lot more for this in the long run because I bought it uh, at the um, Mall of America and then I miss I didn't pack it properly and at the airport they said I was going to have to pay $25 if I wanted to keep it and was it really worth it and I said you damn right it is. <laughs> so I spent basically $60, $70 on this in the long run. It was insane. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, I use this on my rash and it worked. I got caramel in my mouth still. It just took the burn and the itch down and it worked for like three hours. I'm positive it was this stuff. I don't know what's in it because I'm not a chemist. I'm not a beauty guru, um, but it says soy milk and honey whipped body butter. And then it says on the top, it says that it's got a hoba butter in it and beta carotene to protect and soften skin. Maybe it, maybe it's the beta carotene. I'm not sure what it is, but it just helped me so much. This is my story. I'm not saying it's going to work if you have rashes or anything. I'm just saying that it helped me when I was in really big trouble with my um, uh, allergic reaction to penicillin, I guess you could say. And that is it. Those are my favorites. One, two, three, four, five. And how long did this video take? Oh my god, I'm sorry. Anyhow, those are my favorites. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.